Good afternoon, this is Dr. Do again. I continue with the topic of anemia. Uh, last time I briefly talked what kind of uh, anemia uh, you need to go to the emergency room. For example, the, uh, the acute. Uh, I, I'm going to talk more. And uh, we talk about the, uh, the anemia that could be caused by not produce enough of red blood cells or hemoglobin or the red blood cells distracted by uh, many reasons. So yesterday I briefly mentioned of the vitamin B12 deficiency, folic acid deficiency. Uh, these are the category belong to red blood cells or hemoglobin not produce uh, enough to uh, so that cause the anemia. There's another very common um, it's called iron deficiency anemia. You may have heard it. Um, this is the same idea as the folic acid deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiency because the red blood cells uh, and hemoglobin could not be produced. So um, basically, if I just briefly uh, give you introduction of the hemoglobin um, units, there, at the center there's a heme. The heme Synthesis need to have the iron. Actually, the iron is the really element to responsible for hemoglobin to carry oxygen from the reduced form, oxidized in the lung, and then in the tissue back to reduced to release the oxygen. So this is the it is a chemical or bio, biochemistry mechanism. But the point is, the iron iron is very important for our blood cell function. So the iron deficiency anemia, what is the, why, why some people have the iron deficiency? Malnutrition is the one. It's very common uh, in female, young female have heavy menstrual period regularly and not supplement either iron or uh, not take enough nutrition. That's another common cause. The other common cause for elderly people, like I mentioned last time, chronically uh, anemia, because there's a chronically subtle bleeding from the digestive system. It's called the fetal occult blood. Okay, so you cannot see it. The stool does not change color, either bright red or dark, uh, like a tar. No, just the subtle. That's called occult blood, occult bleeding, because you cannot see it. Why, what is the cause for that? Um, I think one of the most serious ones, of course, colon cancer, early stage, uh, you lose weight and you have this uh, fecal occult blood and then you chronically lose blood. That's why you have the iron deficiency anemia. And some other parasite disease, which is from immigrants from Africa or some other area might have the such, but it's not common anymore in the United States or in developed country, but only the underdeveloped area might have some, some causes of this iron deficiency. So what are you going to do? Usually the iron deficiency, like I said, the subtle causes uh, is not it's not uh, warrant to visit the emergency unless you have the bleeding from the rectum. You can see it with the red, bright red blood or tar stool. Otherwise, you just feel tired, fatigue, you look pale, you look your uh, thumb or you look at your uh, fingernails, it's kind of um, not pink. I, the other thing you can test, you open your the, the lower eyelid you pull it down and you see whether it's it's kind of um, white or even worse than pale. So that's a sign for um, anemia. If this is the case, if you are a young female, if you have this fatigue, uh, tired, and also you look, you look your uh, fingernail or under your eyelid, you see the really white pale colorish, you need to see your physician. The physician, uh, the lab will draw your blood, test it, or to verify whether you have it or not have it. The same idea for the the older patient. If you have the symptoms, it might be the colon problem that you need to see a physician to the colonoscopy to check out whether you have it or not have it. 
So these are like iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, and folic acid deficiency. These are from the not produce enough of red blood cell, also hemoglobin. There's another category of anemia because the red blood cells are damaged, disrupted, or uh, hemolysis. That's the word. The red blood cells are broken, called hemolysis. The emergency situation for this usually not occur at home unless some genetic disease. Uh, transfusion is the one I'm talking about. In, usually in the hospital, emergency situation or chronic situation, you need blood transfuse because the blood type mismatched. Then the antigen antibody on the red blood cells and the plasma are uh, against each other, so you have hemolysis. This usually occurs in the hospital, so the physician will do it right away, give you epinephrine or anaphylaxis treatment. But at home, there's a, one of the most common cause of this hemolysis is the genetic. Um, the, there's an enzyme called glucose-6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Some of the people have, do not have this enzyme. So the red blood cells is, uh, increase the fragility. So if you have the, uh, to in increase the fragility to the oxidant, if you have this genes and eat some special food which f uh, contain uh, rich of oxidant or strong oxidant, then you, you can uh, have this problem. You start to become yellow. That's the sign of this uh, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase um, deficiency. G6PD is the short form. You probably heard it if I say this. So if this is the case, you need to see your physician. And probably you were diagnosed where, when you were early stage and your doctor already told me avoid some special food like a foie bean, for example. Some uh, special people cannot eat this. So this is uh, the destruction of the red blood cells. There's another special category uh, occurring in minority. Two of them, one is sickle cell, is very common in African American because the gene defect uh, the uh, caused amino acid change, so hemoglobin changed the structure. So they have either the trait or the disease. And the, sometimes the, uh, the disease is kind of severe. And the trait, you just have the carrier. And the, when the stress, under stress or some medication can trigger serious anemia or become very symptomatic, a chest pain or uh, shortness of breath or you required um, transfusion or uh, other management. There's another uh, kind of a thalassemia which occur in Mediterranean or Southeast Asia. Again, it's a genetic. The, there's a gene mutation in the red blood cell, hemoglobin protein. You know protein is, is from is synthesis because of the gene have the code uh, specific for a protein. We will talk about this later on. This is the basic biochemistry, molecular biology, biology knowledge. But anyway, so these are the common uh, anemia I can think of either from destruction or from not produce enough. And I talk about what kind of symptoms you need to visit the emergency, what kind of symptoms you can call your physician. Basically, the anemia you cannot manage at home. You cannot do it. You have to uh, through medical treatment. Okay, so this is the topic uh, on the A list, alphabetic list of A problem, anemia I have uh, talked last time and today. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time.